Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and sometimes you're using your ATEM and it's not performing right no matter what, your Ethernet is not working, your USB is not working, maybe you need to do a factory reset and that just might help. And in this video, I want to show you how to do it. It's really simple. So we have an ATEM Mini Pro ISO and we have an ATEM SDI Extreme. Works on both of these. So first, what we're going to do is make sure that this is unplugged. We're going to hold down the on button for mic number one. Go ahead and hold that down and then power it back up. And you'll see that now this is blinking. Now we will do the same thing on the SDI one as well too. Hold down mic one. Go ahead and plug it back up. As you can see, both of them are blinking. Now it is very important that you have these connected to your computer over USB. That's how this is going to work. So as you can see, even though I'm on the network, that doesn't mean anything. We have the red anchor USB-C cables which are connected to my Mac. So let's cut over to the Mac and let me show you the next step you got to do. All right, so now that we're on our Mac, what we're going to do is go ahead and go to our applications. And what we're going to do is open up the Blackmagic folder and we're going to be going to our setup, ATEM setup. And as you can see, both of them are detected because we're over USB, which is important. What we're going to do now is just go ahead and let's start with the Mini Pro ISO. We're going to go ahead and click on the little disc it's going to force to do an update. That's why we know, that's how we know we're doing a factory um, reset. So it's going to pull from there, pull down and install the latest version of software. When it's done, boom, you're good to go. That's mainly it. So every setting that you've had in the ATEM has been wiped out and it is as if it was right off the factory, but it is using the latest version of whatever software that you've downloaded. So once this is done, we're going to do the same thing for the SDI. And again, this needs to be done and only can be done over USB. Don't please don't try and turn it off, unhook the cable, nothing, because the screen says it exactly. But that is it. So that's pretty much it, folks. Um, now, I've done this a couple of times with a, a ministry, I guess, when they were using the save startup state, something got kind of funky in there and it had a problem with the ethernet not working the usb not working live streaming not working and this is what resolved the issue so let me know if you have any questions down below and i will get to them as best as i possibly can if you like this type of content appreciate a like consider subscribing hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry thanks for watching folks this is aj we will catch you on the next video later